Hi everyone, my name is Julie Sevy. I write the Analytics Corner blog that focuses on data engineering, analytics, and visualization. I primarily work with Alteryx and Spotfire. If you really don't want to watch a video, you can find the written version of this post on my website shown on the screen. I always write and record all of my postings. If you learned something today, please do me a favor and share this link on LinkedIn or other social media so that other folks can learn too. This week we're talking about data limiting. It's a bit of an extension of a post that I wrote a few weeks ago where I was discussing data limiting in Spotfire when your column names change, such as when you use property controls to dynamically change a visualization. I had a specific use case and showed two solutions, one using data limiting with expression and the second using the show hide items function. And I initially struggled to get working solutions using both pieces of functionality because I thought they worked in the same way, but they don't. There's a subtle difference between them. And so this week I decided to work up a comprehensive tutorial to explain that difference so that you know how to use them correctly. Both data limiting with expression and show hide are in the properties dialog of every visualization type. In the data menu, limit data using expression is found once you scroll down just a little bit and then the show hide items has its own menu. I'm gonna start with a quick explanation of data limiting with expression. And if you want a deeper dive on this, check out the link on the screen because I've written about this subject before. So let's go into properties and data. Data limiting with expression is written using, using Boolean expressions. In other words, it's evaluated as either true or false. So in this case, I have OPEX on my cross table and I can just say actual OPEX is not equal to zero in order to remove these null and zero records. What it's doing under the covers is evaluating each record in the data table against that expression and returning either true or false. And what's most important about this, the thing I really want you to pay attention to is the fact that there is no aggregation. And that is because it is evaluating every record in a table. And you'll see very shortly that this is distinctly different from show hide. I'm gonna go back into properties and I'll go into show hide. And I don't have any rules set up. And if I click add, this is the dialog that I get. For show hide, you're asked to select a column, a rule type, and a value. And then you have to tell it whether you want it to show or hide those items. And before I go too far, I want to point out that some visualization types like bar charts or line charts are going to have a default column selection called value axis values. My first example here was in a cross table and it just pulled up a column of data. But if we take a look at the bar chart that I have below, you'll see that if I go to show hide and click add, it defaults to value axis values. Or if I switch this to a line chart and go to show hide, it defaults it to Y values. So what is values axis values? What is Y values? This is a really great addition that Tibco added in a couple upgrades ago. Y values and value axis values is basically referring to anything that you put on the Y axis. And they did this so that you could change what was on the Y axis without having to come back in and redo your rules. So if I set this to Y values and then I go in and change actual, actual tax to actual OPEX, my rules are going to be preserved and then applied to the new column. It makes it a little bit more dynamic and was a pretty awesome uh, upgrade. I'm going back into show hide and I'm going to add rules. Since I already have OPEX on this cross table, we'll just work with OPEX. The next thing that we have to do is select the rule type. Show hide has some pretty cool options. The top and the bottom options are distinctive to show hide and there you can get the same thing with data limiting by expression, but it's actually a lot harder. So let me show you what this does. So if I select top and then put in a value, it's going to show my top five actual OPEX values. I have that many here. I'm just going to do top three and I'm gonna click OK. Now, you'll notice that I said top three, but I wound up with one, two, three, four values. And that's because two of those values are the same. So this is one, two, and it's treating this as a third value. And I also wanna note that uh, using the top and bottom functions in bar charts can be a little bit tricky. 
simply because the way that it's the functionality is built is it's going to apply to the, the smallest increment. And if you're doing stacked bar charts, your smallest increments are going to be the stacked each stacked bar itself. And so in order to learn a little bit more about this, I've got a link to a TIBCO support article in my written blog post, and it's also on the screen. So check that out if you're trying to use the top or bottom functions with stacked bar charts. Okay, so let's go back into that, and we're still looking at our rule types. So top and bottom are distinctive to show hide. Everything between equal to and less than or equal to is pretty much going to work the exact same way as data limiting with expression. It's very simple and intuitive. The one that's a wee bit tricky is this Boolean expression. So if I select Boolean expression and click on the pencil, you'll see that the only option I have here in available columns is axis value. And what axis value is referring to is literally the values that you have on your visualization. And you would simply write a Boolean expression exactly as you would with data limiting um, or any of the other options if you were to say greater than or less than. So I'm going to tell it that I only want to see axis values greater than 500,000. And when I do that, you'll see that those two duplicate values, those are now removed. So that's how you use the Boolean expression. We're not quite done yet, though. Uh, I'm going to go back and choose greater than in order to show you that you, that you do have additional options in the value section. You can choose a, a calculated rule. This is greater than the minimum value, greater than max, average, median, percentile, or you have the option to write a custom expression. And then lastly, you just choose whether you, whether you want data to be shown or hidden based on your rules. So this is all pretty, this is all pretty simple. Now let's bring it back to the original purpose. I said that there was a subtle difference in how data limiting with expression works versus show hide. That subtle difference is the fact that the show hide requires an aggregation and data limiting with expression doesn't. Here I have to put in a sum, a min, or max, or some type of aggregation in order to get this to work. And the reason that this is the case is because there's an underlying assumption here that your visualizations are going to roll up data. Therefore, you need an aggregation. And your rules are going to be applied to the rolled up data. Now, of course, it's certainly possible to put uh, one line on this cross table for every record in a table. But if you don't, it needs to know how to deal with it. And so let me show you an example. I'm going to go ahead and remove this rule. And I'm going to duplicate my cross table. And instead of having the well here, I'm going to put my field on the, on the vertical axis. What I want to just demonstrate is that the show hide function is applying the rule not to each record in a table like data limiting with expression does, but instead it's applying it to how you have set up your visualization. So if I add a rule in here that says actual opex greater than 500,000, it's going to apply it to each well. And in this visualization, if I set up a rule that says greater than, let's choose a, a bigger value, I'll say greater than 1 million, then it applies it at the field level because that is how my visualization is configured. That's a, a really small but important difference between data limiting with expression and show hide. And just so this is crystal clear, I want to show you a more complex use case where I've derived the same results using data limiting and show hide in uh, something just, that's just a little bit more complicated. Here you'll see that I have a list box multi-select property control that is connected to both my cross tables. And so my cross table will populate with whatever I select here. This top cross table is using data limiting and the bottom cross table is using show hide. And my objective with the limiting is to remove those null and zero records. In this visualization, my expression is using the map and escape functions. If you're unfamiliar with these functions, check out the link shown on the screen. And you'll notice that there's no aggregation here in this whatsoever. But if I go down to the show hide, you'll see that my custom expression 
is exactly the same as the previous one, but here I've added in the sum because that's what show hide requires and that's what show hide needs. And uh, something else that I've also written about recently was how to use the description area in order to troubleshoot your expressions. And that's what this is right here. I've copied and pasted the expression from my show hide into the description and you can see exactly how it's being interpreted. So now you should be able to clearly see the difference between show hide and data limiting with expression and that it is possible to produce the same result. You just need to make sure you use an aggregation method in show hide. To summarize, both allow the user to customize what appears or disappears from a visualization, but they perform that task at different levels. Show hide works with the vertical axis configuration and aggregates data. Limiting data with expression works at the record level. If you found this post useful, please repost or share. Thank you and have a great week.